Yeah. Was very excited because it's a it's a very uh, different film. I don't know why it uh, this uh, on the uh, any film on this subject why, why it was not made before, but uh, um, I'm really happy that uh, finally somebody has made a film on this, and who uh, other than Neera sir is the best in this craft. So I'm really excited. It's ten days and. Uh, you know it's a very interesting film uh, just not about you know a, a particular event or a particular thing we are making on but it's on on with, with that it's i think it's it's very entertaining film also uh, entertaining intriguing so people are going to love it tell us something about your own really strong in the trailer police man strict police man uh, would you want to say something more about your role ah uh, yeah, because <coughs> You know, there, there, are, there are a lot of shades to this character, but the, the only thing I can, uh, I can I can say right now because I can't divulge much, uh, much details about the film uh, because I want viewers to watch the film and then then think, oh, this is the film. So there's a much larger message or um, uh, you know uh, thing is there behind the film, just not about uh, the harassment on the name of moral policing. It's much more than that. It's a very larger picture. It's about a thought process, and uh, once you watch the film, you realize what I'm talking about. So, no, what do you want to say about the innocent couple, uh, newcomers? Yeah, they are fantastic here. Yeah. Obviously, Siddharth, uh, uh, Siddharth, I worked with him before also, uh, but it's a new version, new improved version of Siddharth. I think he took a break for good. I think, and he studied a lot. He did uh, a lot of theatre. He went to he, I think, travelled across the globe and he gained experience, which was very very uh, much needed for him. And he's fantastic in the film. Vedika, particularly, it's her first film, but this girl will go places. I, 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 can, I can tell you that. She's just because in this film particularly, she hardly has has dialogues. But without dialogues, just speaking with your eyes, it's a very tough. Uh, thing for any actor, and she has done it wonderfully. So I think uh, she has a very bright future, and I'm really happy to work with both of them. And uh, and uh, their Kishore Kadam sir, which is a phenomenal actor. Uh, I loved with him, uh, loved working with him, and uh, you know the kind of knowledge we gain out of Kishore sir. I think it's it's needed for any actor. And Bhumika ji, obviously, been a fan, and fortunately, I got a chance to work with her. Still, still, uh, she's still the same and an amazing actor. So we really loved working with all these guys. Okay, so after the trailer uh, came out, uh, in the end of the trailer, kya hua tha Neha ko usrat? So did people ask you about it? In my life, there, there, it's, it's full of questions. The first question came around five, six years back when they asked me, "Ki katta pane bahubali ho kyu mara?" Then the second question came around three years back, "Ki lona wala me kya hua tha?" The third question is, "Gadi me kya hota?" So these questions are good for me, I think. And the answer you will get when the film will release and you will watch the film. So, do you give a hint to the people? Yeah, obviously it's a hint that this film is good because whenever I did something which has questions in it, it 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 came out successful. So hopefully. So do you think your personality and your voice made this role do very? I don't know, yeah. That 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 is the call which a producer or a director takes. I am an actor. I don't, you know, I am not in love with myself. So I don't know. I'm a very conscious guy. So, uh, like nobody knows their own voice. Rojhi sun rahe tu. There's there's nothing new to it. But other people who listen to it, they can tell the difference. Okay, your voice is good or bad. So I'm not really concentrating on my uh, myself in terms of my voice or my looks or my height build because then you become complacent that okay fine I have this then why to need work hard so I completely uh, you know avoid these thoughts uh, about my personality or my physical structure or my voice I just want to concentrate on acting and that's it. You know, it's a very tough role, I would say. It's to get into the skin of this character was because uh, there's n not a single iota of me in this character. 
I can't think like Mangesh Jadav. I can't uh, operate like Mangesh Jadav. So it was completely a stranger. So it's it uh, it's 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 very difficult to imagine and then execute it. So I think one thing what I did I at my normal procedure on the first day of shoot I I I get ready in my look whatever has been decided by the director. And then I sit alone for some time to convince myself in front of the mirror that from on this set from today I am not Sharad Kelkar, I am so and so. So for this character also I took time to convince myself, okay, you want to do this now, which you never imagined also in your worst thoughts also, okay, you, you will be such kind of person, but then you are an actor, you have to think about, uh, think like him. So that process was a process is very important for me in every role or every film what I do. So for this character also I sat, I convinced myself here now on this side, you're Mangi Zadar. So intention in your eyes, as we can see in the poster also, the back of poster, uh, the intention, the strictness, uh, there are so many things in the in the role. Yeah. So how do you get those? In the, is it uh, natural or? Uh, I think once you're convinced no, from inside uh, that that you are this character. I think things come automatically and I'm not a person who is a method actor who will sit in your room and then you know feel or live that life. I'm not like that. Uh, but with this character I was a little troubled. I'll be very honest. I think this is the only film uh, in which I took the character to my home. But I was like really troubled, uh, disgusted. I was really I was a little upset about it and uh, that I discussed with Neeraj sir also. I went to his office and I told him sir, this is the first film, first ever role where I am not comfortable post shoot also. Every day I come home and I am not getting sleep, I am a little, you know, I, anxiety is there, I am a little disturbed and I am feeling bad about it. So he said, are you feeling bad, are you feeling disgusted? I said, yes. So he said, that means you have done good. So keep doing that. <laughs> so you know Neeraj sir, he is very straightforward and he tells you in very less words what exactly he means. So um, I think that was a fact also and encouragement also for me, uh, those few words. And I think that kept me going without thinking about the trouble and the torture which I was going through as an actor. So that's actor's life where you have to do something which sometimes is not very comfortable for you or... Uh, so I just did it. Let's see how audience... Response. So did you have yeah, yeah, all and basically not days, nights because you're shooting in nights. So days were very difficult. But night, though you're shooting, you know what you're doing. But in days, yes, I was really troubled. I, re I was really troubled. I normally I, I'm quite happy. I go home and I happily I I act all the scenes in front of my wife. That this scene I've done like this. This scene I've done like that. But in this film, I was like, yeah, maybe I've done it in this way and I'm not feeling good about it. Because she's an actor, so she just says, okay, fine, this way you have done it, I said, it's, it's good. But her good also, anybody's good was not working for me that time because I was really upset and, you know, uh, disgusted with myself. But let's see how, the, uh, has it come in, uh, come on screen or not that you'll, you'll uh, see on 22nd April. Okay, so as family is always there with us, so after the trailer, yeah, because she, she has seen the film uh, now, because she has, she heard the whole narration also from me. Every day I used to narrate all the scenes which I have done and finally she saw the film also and she said Ki, in spite of knowing the whole story and scenes, dialogue by dialogue, but still I, I love the film. And she, one thing she always say when, whenever she likes my work, she said, I am very proud of you, you are growing. So I think that those few words of encouragement are enough for me to progress more and work uh, more harder. Okay, sir. So how do you see the South, uh, South industry is coming back to India? And you were the opening batsman from the South <laughs> industry. Uh, the I'm, the, I'm the opening batsman or I'm the culprit? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind a matter of, of discussion. The kind of voice you gave to the Bahubali. Mm. Still people love you for that. So how do you see uh, South industry? Well, it's good. I, I don't consider that it's a different industry. We are, we are, we are, a, we are a one nation and all the industries combined is, is our industry. Now, and before also, the, the actors from South used to work in uh, Bollywood. From here, people used to go out, go to South industry, used to work there. And not just South, but every industry. Bengali also, we, uh, we worked. And so, I think it's a, it's a combined effort. 
I just wondered in this is uh, what bad phase it just went through. I think uh, whatever films are working, I think it's encouragement for the industry, for the theatre owners, for the exhibitors, for actors. So I think it's good for the industry, and uh, I'm really happy that pe if people uh, like me, what I did in Bahubali, and hope to serve them more in future endeavours. That, that's what that's what yeah. I'm reading about the uh, COVID times when theatres were shut, no films were made, and you know, the future was uh, looking very dark. Unfortunately, in, we we just fought uh, fought it out, and now we are here. We are working, and big films are releasing, and they are earning thousand crores on box office. It's a great time for the industry. Uh, then the lockdown came. Then the OTT platform got high. Now the uh, cinemas get back. Uh, in, in this track, and how do you see the movies? Do you think this is the perfect time uh, for your movie to come up? I think it's the perfect time because people started going to the theatres now and they are craving for good, good content. And uh, our film, particularly, it's a fantastic uh, content, I feel. I haven't seen such kind of film in a long time. Uh, no, it's for so called, it's not a big film as such, what we call big films are. But uh, yes, it's a big film in terms of content. It's a very big film, so I think I want all the people, especially youngsters and their parents to watch this film and they'll understand what I'm talking about. Lastly, what kind of message do you want to give to all the audience? I'm very happy that uh, in the last few years I think you have showered a lot of love on me and uh, my efforts are always there. I promise you that I'll keep working hard and just pray that uh, please uh, keep showing that same love or maybe more than that in my future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.